Welcome back for more Resident Evil 3, ladies and gents. Hope you are doing well. My name is Lewis, aka Man, you're a man here. And in this video, I'll be continuing Jill Valentine's adventure in the Raccoon City Street during this T virus outbreak, a zombie outbreak. So, basically, what we're going to do is to reactivate the power cable line, the power line for the train, and then we need to reroute the train to the location to escape the city. So that's our main objective today. So before we keep cracking and, you know, carry on Jill's adventure, there's a little bit of a disclaimer. So basically uh, yesterday I recorded episode two and episode three already. Episode three was fine, but episode two just did not work. Episode two had a, had a, um, Massive file size, but the video is only 14 minutes, so I don't know what the hell happened Something gone wrong some something is corrupted and I only got 14 minutes of the video Which is at the end when I was doing the outro That doesn't help you guys you guys just don't want to watch my outro, right? So basically I am recording episode 2 and episode 3 again and replaying all these parts again so if I feel like I'm just zooming past some of these parts and have even more preparation than before then because I played it because uh, this is my second playthrough basically so with that being said I'm sorry that I messed up my recording I'm quite happy to play it again I guess but yeah so I mean what can I do what can I do so that being said let's crack on Okay, so last time we finished off in this uh, garage where we picked up a bolt cutter and we just need to pick up a lock pick. That being said, I'm gonna put my bolt cutter there. And we met this guy, I think this guy is called Murphy. I don't know why that's in my in my head, but I think his, his name is Murphy and he was injured, he, I don't know, he didn't get bite or anything like that, but Nikolai, the white haired dude, just came in and, and, and shot him in the head. Um, so we don't like Nikolai, we don't, we really don't like Nikolai. So going on the side of the garage, we see this dude, another UBCS guy, but he uh, taking his life. He killed himself because um, he could no longer take it anymore. You know, he has a very fast experience. He'd gone through the worst and there were 30 guys with the state-of-the-art assault rifles and the herd of zombies just wiped them out less than 48 hours. These guys are not trained in this kind of environment. These guys are not trained with zombies. You know, they probably don't know shooting them in the head is really effective but when you have a herd of zombies just rushing you anytime they can it is hard to defeat them you know they are basically a bullet sponges and without having the knowledge of how to dispatch them effectively because they never had the experience the training for it that's why uh, the 30 guys just got wiped immediately and this guy think he's a coward and just want to kill himself because all his all his squad mate is dead. So poor guy, but you know, no one's fit for this situation apart from Jill Valentine, who has previous experience in the Mansion incident. Not with like hundreds and thousands of citizens being turning into zombies, though. So we need to. Um, oh, so this. No, it's basically saying that there is electric generators throughout the city and when the generators are sp uh, sparkling that means it is ready to discharge One bullet, okay, one shotgun bullet, get these dogs done. Nice. So yeah, so playing, because episode one, there's not much gameplay. Um, so in the next 
episode, or well, this episode will definitely be full of actions. So that being said, like it is really the zombies. They move so erratic. Like they, they move, the move, the movement is so hard to predict and so quick. It just sometimes it's really hard to aim and shoot them. It's not like uh, Resident Evil 2 where they pretty much stay stay still in a way. Oh, shoot, he's dead now. I'm liking to head pop. He's trying to go around me and try to surround me or something. I mean, I think he's dead now. So that's why having a knife early on is pretty good because you can reserve a bit of your ammo oh god always keep a distance she's dead she's dead whoa she's not dead bloody hell stay down so one thing I realized as well is while playing through the the episode the first time is I kept too many gunpowders I wasn't making a lot of bullets and I had like six or seven gunpowders in 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 the chest hey more hip pouch so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make more pistol ammo because I was waiting for high grade gunpowder so I can make more like um, make more shotgun ammo and stuff like that but I'm just like no actually I, I I might as well just I might as well just use these gunpowders that I pick up along the way. Um so yeah. Substation chief, chief it's because of the uh recent outbreak, um violent outbreak, they have deactivated uh power. So I need to activate all these four breakers in order to turn on the main power switch and then reroute the, the train in the substation. So you can see where the uh, powers, power lines breakers are. So all those little red little dot, they're where they are. So this upcoming area... Um, oh, oh God. It smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. it smells like shite. So this upcoming area is one of the areas that I bloody hate. Um, you can easily have a cheap death. And it just... So, green herb, it works. So, Chad had been infected and injected by a maggot. That's what they say, some kind of maggot. So this maggot basically will go around your stomach, go around your body, uh, your intestines. And if you don't have any green herb, if you don't eat a green herb, it will just burst out and kill you. So green herb make them go away, basically. My grandma once told me that green herb are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob and swallowed. And what do you know? Those little things didn't want to be there anymore. I'd never been so happy to throw up. There you go. Eat some green herb, throw up. And he's all good, baby. So it's basically what happened to this dude here. Oh. Ew. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see that those little thing, those little maggots thing, were just in the gut and just burst out. So we've got a lockpick here, specialized two, which allow a skill user to unlock simple locks. That's great. Um, Jill is a master of unlocking. <clears throat> so before going into this room, I'm just gonna go back um, to the other parts and do all the lockpicks. 
all the padlock. So pretty much So this is the first part lock that we see. So we can use the lock pick to unlock them. And throughout the uh, throughout the playthrough, you will get to use your lock pick to unlock. And uh, as you can see, all the all the zombies despawn. So this is the second part lock that I can unlock. So this is back in the garage. First aid spray. That's very good. So in terms of the green herb, it's going to be really useful in that um, gen oh, activating all the breakers, it will be very useful. So for the bow cutters, I need to pick one out. So let's go back to the uh, Street of Raccoon. So in this shop, this is the toy shop and uh, the supermarket, there's like a chain and padlock that you can use, that you can unlock. Oh, nice. So these fancy box we saw one in for the first episode and in within them is gems and these these gems I can use to unlock valuable items later on when we go back to the train station. So in Resident Evil 2 remake there is a raccoon doll that you can shoot and then it gets you give you bonus images and bonus bonus model that you can view and twist around so in Resident Evil 3 it is the Charlie head that you can shoot down so if you're not careful it can it can fall off and basically kill millions well not millions but thousands of people can can get hurt so we no longer need the bolt cutters and we got another one of these fancy box and more gems Got a high grade cum powder and a first aid spray. These are all really good stuff, man. So it's worth because what happened is that if you activate the breakers and you come back, Nemesis will follow you. Nemesis will try to kill you. And Nemesis is so good that it'll be a bit cumbersome doing all these stuff with him around. So it's always good to backtrack around and do do these to grab all these items, valuable items. Hello, mate. This must be the subway company's offices. So this is the substation, um, the substation office, like Jill said, where we can reroute all the uh, where the train goes, basically. So we will need to come back here a little bit later on. So there's a, a manual just basically saying that, you know, you need to reroute it properly. There's some donut. There's one. One of the donuts only had one bite, a one pretty small bite, I would say. In the event of an outbreak where people are going crazy, I'll probably grab that box and just shove it down my gob because, you know, you never know if you're going to live again to, to eat some donuts. But there's some banging donuts here, though. Oh, I wouldn't mind that chocolate one. I wouldn't mind that one. That looks yummy. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I really want donuts now, talking about donuts. I might actually get some. So this is uh, Jill's Samurai Edge. Uh, originally in the first cutscene when Nemesis break through Jill's apartment. Um, she was using it to shoot Nemesis, but then she dropped it. In the original Resident Evil 3, it carried with a stay by Jill's side. I think we, I think we good. I think, I think we are good. Um, so let's crack on. Having green herbs and having a lot of shotgun bullets is is important. Um, Oh fuck, I need. If only I had my lockpick. Lock okay, Jill. There you go, lockpick. Nice. 
Let's go in. So those are the 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 maggot, the bugs thing. It's not nice, is it? It just got like maggots shoving down your throat. A bit of tentacle shit going on. Um, okay, so we need to use. So we need to use the green herb, and then it will it will come out. You see those little thing? It basically kills the um, the maggots. Just do this quickly. Do my me. Oh. Oh my god, if he grabbed me, I would have been pissed. Come on, 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 come on. Oh god. One was right there. Um if I see them I'm just gonna shoot them, but hopefully I don't see many of them. Yeah, so we need to activate all the breakers. I I'm hearing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I barely saw them. Go, 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 go. Reload, reload. There's only four rounds. Fuck off. Honestly. Oh, there's one in front. I'm using up a lot, but I still got six round in the box, so they're coming. Okay. Um I'm caution. I'm on caution. So when you when I'm on caution you can see that the um um the controller is yellow. Bloody hell. Fuck you. Alright, another breaker. Lovely, Jable. Lovely. This is lovely, mate. Oh my god. Oh my giddy hour. So there is a green herb inside, but there's it's okay. just no point. There's no point grabbing it. Switch. Ha! Die, you son of a bitch. So that's the that's the hive um, for the little buggy. For the little maggots. Ooh, all right. I don't need to lockpick anymore because I went around. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. That's really interesting, that, because um, yesterday I didn't have... I didn't go to the substation office. I didn't go in it. And it, G was just saying that, oh, do you know where he is? And Carl was just like, no clue. No clue, partner, or something like that, down the line. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting to see the dialogue changes, depending on what you, how much you explore. Hello, mate. You still need to whack me first, do you? Okay. So basically, we got a supply case from um, the Nemesis. So this is stay connected and stay true to the original Resident Evil 3, where every time you down Nemesis when he's chasing you, you will get some sort of a case. Um, it can be weapon parts that you can combine and make create a weapon, or it can be health. 
So everything that you get is in sequence. So you definitely get this item first, and then this item, then this item. So there's no, it's not randomized. So this this features they have kept within uh, Resident Evil 3 remake, which I'm really happy about. Because uh, this this nemesis is actually really hard to kill. It's, he's a lot more agile. He's a lot quicker. He's um, a lot more intelligent, a lot more powerful and dangerous compared to Mr. X. And he he. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? Run! Come back to the station. Not until I get traffic control online. So um, yeah, so if you try to shoot it with grenade launcher. It will dodge. It will it will sway le left or right to dodge the grenade launcher if you haven't stunned him. So yeah, it's really it's really interesting. It's really good. Hello, zombie. Uh, don't mind. Again. Yo, chill out. Oh, come on. I'll, I'll prep. Oh, Jesus. Quit. No! Well, that's just cheap, isn't it? That's just cheap. It punched me twice. I couldn't get out of it. So from fine, I'm going to caution, and then caution going to danger, and trying to bust in, and he just he just killed me. That's ridiculous. I mean, one way I could go is to go down there, but that's a lot slower. There you go, dodged it. Nah, that's more cool. That, that's cooler. Get out of my way. Okay, you need to just Carlos, reroute it. Control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a room. Okay, give me a sec. So, Sing Michael Clock Tower right there. That was a playable um, location for Resident Evil 3, the original PlayStation 1 version. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Um, hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. No, I think this is. I think this is two and then one and then two. Unable to establish route. Please try again. Oh, uh, RAO3, okay. RAO3. Oh, wait. This is RA. And then this is SA. Valid route confirmed. Okay. Carlos, it's me. I finished doo, 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 doo. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Nice. Fuck. What the fuck? So those little things are deadly, man. They're annoying and they're deadly. So I've got some grenade that I can throw. What the hell is it doing? So it's it's Nemesis who's giving them that those little thing. There you go. That's why it's always really good to keep some grenade. Because um one grenade. He can't dodge the grenade, that's the thing. And the grenade is really good. 
So now this uh, this Glock is pretty kitted up with the suppressor, which tightens up the the shot, making critical shot easier. It added a sight, and also the 33 round extended mag. So it's pretty kitted up. Look, zombies, I'm not I'm not here for you, okay? Oh no! Uh, told you they move so erratic. It's very hard to judge. Got that one though. Just go in! Oh my goodness, mate. Yeah, zombies definitely a lot more unpredictable. So for this clock tower thing, we can unlock some exclusive items a grenade like i said grenade is very deadly especially against um nemesis hey more parts tactical stock for the shotgun that's great and then in here we got a pouch nice Nice, nice, nice. So I can put a tactical stock on the M3 shotgun and now it's making it more deadly. So I needed this lockpick for this case. I think inside is some shotgun shell if I remember correctly. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's hoping to get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. I really like Jill's uh, facial expression. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Jill! No! Damn it! Come on, you creepy ass stalker! You want stars? Oh my god. I'll give you stars! I'll give you stars! Oh my lordy lord. Like, everything, just all the boss. No, oh, grab it. Okay, I, I actually injured myself as well. Lost my chance. Let's go. Escaping through the sewers. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the sewers again. Lock that stuff down. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos! Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Shit indeed, Jill. Hey, you're fine now. So yeah, it intentionally give you a first aid kit. Perfect. Because that area was just so narrow for anything to go through, really, so... So, yep, uh, another sewers area, I guess, uh, 
Resident Evil, Capcom, they like their sewers area, don't they? Jeez. Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, oh god. I'm definitely burning this place. Yeah, I don't think burning it would just I wouldn't just burn it, Jill. New enemy, uh we call them Gamma. So this is one of the uh, Hunter series as well, um, the Gammas. It's developed by uh, no other than uh, the faithful representative Umbrella. What the fuck okay. was that? It, uh, it takes quite a lot of ammo to get it. Get it kill to be honest but because I didn't do any critical damage as well so that that kind of extended the, the amount that I needed to kill so we got some explosive B there is a researcher existing log so Gammas as it says on, on on there on the file so Gammas is one of the hunter series that Umbrella want to produce the bio or weapon bio organic weapon and gammas are specialized in water so it can swim around so it need to have a very particular water temperature and acid level in order to um, maintain their viability because otherwise you know if the water is too hot or something like that then it can mutate into something else so right now this log is basically just controlling them and in June 30th, Umbrella has officially shut down the Gamma research, but all some of the researchers, they stole some of the um, the sample or se specimens from Umbrella and went to this sewers and continued it to, to research and develop them. So saying that two months after, or two weeks after relocating to the sewers, they inc the increased temperature have led to water quality to be lower and the gammas quickly learn the layout of the sewers and they start to get more aggressive so so some of the workers have found their way to the lab but then the gammas just literally eliminated them just ate them so starting to become very dangerous. So this is the invoice from Gunshop Kento. Um, so Gunshop Kento is a place that we, we went past in Resident Evil 2 Remake. We met the shop owner called Robert Kento. Uh, he is an expert in weaponry and armory and all that stuff. Uh, so he this, this grenade launcher, the six round grenade launchers is provided by him. Very modern, very great. Compared to the grenade launcher that Claire had in Resident Evil 2, this is like proper. Like this is this is six rounds. You can just pump it. It's, this is this is proper grenade launcher. So it's teaching you how to make the rounds as well: explosive, flame, and acid round. In Resident Evil 2, there's only two types, which is the flame rounds and the acid round. In Resident Evil 3, there's two additional ones, which is explosive rounds and mine rounds. Mine rounds you can't create. But um, they will be throughout the area that you can grab. And mine rounds is pretty pretty deadly too. Oh shit, that wasn't that wasn't direct shot. Yeah. Look at that, burning them into a Chris. Serious workers know, so it happened again, they got Kane this time, I saw it or one of those things just swallow him whole, head to toe. I just say there's a lot of cheap death, there's a lot of instant death in Resident Evil 3, so if you get managed to get close to one of those things and it opens his mouth and you try to run back, it doesn't matter. There's an area of damage that it will do and it will just basically turn into a cutscene of that him 
eating you whole and you just instant death doesn't matter if you're fine doesn't matter if you more than fine doesn't matter if you have armor you have ammo you get close to those things it just kill you instantly so there's a lot of cheap death in resident evil 3 that can instantly end your your playthrough yeah so so these guys are they okay they're not they're not really that great But as you, as you just saw, it takes quite a lot of uh, pistol ammo to, to kill these guys and it takes one flame round to burn these guys, so the trade-off is massive. I could use shotgun, but I just don't want to waste any shotgun ammo on these guys. So we got the battery pack and we got a high-grade gunpowder here, which I can make more. Shock and ammo, which is great. Ah, I forgot my lockpick. So, love letter. My little darling, it's already been three months since we fled together. I found myself thinking back to the day you hatched. So, just the, it was just the, the researchers being a little bit salty about Umbrella cancelling their Gamma's project as part of the Hunter series. Um... And that's it. They're just a bit salty about that. So what's inside that lockpick is a explosive A, uh, b because we got an explosive B. So which means we can grab. Well, we can make flame rounds. I think that was close. Bye bye. And I don't know how much flame round we're gonna make, but I guess it's quite useful to grab them. Okay, so back with the lockpick to unlock these. Let's make some more explosive A. And I forgot to grab the explosive, um, to grab the explosive from the box. So I'm going back to the box again. So what I've done is I combined the explosive A to the explosive B and make some more flame round. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload it. Nice. Oh, toilet paper. Wow. In the midst of an outbreak, people didn't go and grab toilet paper. So we've got the battery pack now that we can use to unlock the doors. There you go, you can just burn and I'll carry on doing my stuff. There you go, grab that battery pack back. Look at that. Look at that mess. A barbecue fish. Are they fish? Uh, I guess they're fish. More hit pouch. That's good. Explosive A. That's great. More gunpowder. And that's it. This room is just used for a bit of uh, resources. But hit pouch is good though. Hit pouch is really good. You know, you get two space. You can grab all item. So we got the battery pack now so we can get out of this sewers this note is basically just saying that they want to increase the security of the sewers there are a lot of un unauthorized personnel coming to the sewers and basically the, the risk of 
them discovering the gamma's research that they are continuing. So that's why they issue these battery pack, just so that not a lot of people can roam around the sewers. I mean, I don't know who would, but Ayo, that, that's their preference, I guess. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Oof. Oh my goodness gracious. They can use weapon. Oh Jesus. You can use weapons? Yeah, I mean it's it's the nemesis. So we've got another box here. Um get some items. It's all yeah, all blue. That's what we want. So we got explosive A, explosive A, some gunpowder. As always, I'm just gonna grab a full health item just in case I die. But it doesn't really matter in this game because a lot of the scene you just you just get instant kill. It doesn't give you a chance to to heal up. Especially uh, stronger, um, especially especially stronger enemies like the, the nemesis. It just instant kill you most of the time. He just burning the whole place down. Stop it. Boom. That's cool though. He never used the flamethrower in the original Resident Evil 3. It was um, it was rocket launcher, but it's pretty cool though. I guess because like flamethrower was a little bit more taxing for the PlayStation One days, you know, with all the lights and everything going on. So that's why they kept it to something just simple and easy. Look at that, the flames going up. Ooh. These metal must be boiling right now. All that fire going into it. Alright, another safe room. I don't know how the box have come up here, but the box have legs. Um, I think I'm pretty much kitted out. I feel like I'm pretty good. Two health grenade so I'm just gonna bang on with the grenade straight away if I don't have to use a grenade launcher I'm not gonna use a grenade launcher stars there's a lot of items around here that I can grab Hey, explosive round, that's pretty good. Whoa. That's some cool effects though. So what we want is we want to um Maybe make make the fuel tank close. Oh that was way too close. I want to grab this stuff. Yeah. It's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. Oh, 
I'm on caution. Just looking down to my controller, I'm caution. Come on, blow up. I missed it. Hey! There you go. I got green hair, I'm just gonna use it. Hey, he's down. What did I tell you? One grenade. One grenade is so good. I used a green herb that I picked up from the site, so that was really good. Ooh, that was lucky. Now that's still quite tall. God damn, I was lucky. You could have easily crushed her. And break her back as well. She was battered. Look at her. Cuts everywhere. Jeez. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You alright? Yeah. Bastard's dead. <laughs> Fuck him. Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. Don't start. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Yeah, stop flirting, you two. Don't start, darling. I did what I have to. Okay, so this street is pretty much very familiar with those who watch my Resident Evil 2 remake or play Resident Evil 2 itself. So this bit here goes towards the uh, car park of Raccoon City Police Department. So in Resident Evil 2, Leon and Claire will come out of this car park and into the street here. So gun shop Kendo is right there. So this is where um, the two game have a very slight interlink. We're just gonna go to gun shop Kendo because the, there's a padlock in that door. Right. So yeah, like I said, that fight wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't too bad at all. Come on! Kendo, you're all right. You're all all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? Uh, take care, Jill. So it's pretty, um, pretty heartwarming to see... To the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty heartwarming to see Kendo in a more friendly um, manner in a way. So yeah, it's very it's very good to see him like that because otherwise um, we all know what his fate is if you watch my Resident Evil Two series. There you go. So we got the barrel for um, the, the shotgun so semi-auto barrel basically just increases fire rate and destructive power because of the increase in barrel that means we can hold six shots in the 
shotgun now. So, uh, okay, yep, I still got the key. Yep, it's all clear. So, Ada went to that. Uh, Ada and Leon went through this gate, but we're gonna go through the same gate that. Are we going to go through the same gate that um, Claire went through? But we're going to go a different way to Claire because Claire was going through the going to the orphanage to save Sherry, and we just trying to go back to the train station. Nice. I'll go red right up. Can dish that. Okay. These guys mean business. As you can see that my pistol shot uh, directly hitting it, but those little claws is like protecting it. Uh, again, these guys can have a uh, one kill instant, I believe. If you are in cautious health, I think it, it will in one kill. Ah. There we go. Nice. Hello? Anyone around? Raccoon time reader column. So yeah, so this note is basically mentioning the the head, the the Charlie head is very wobbly. On the windy day, a big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. So it's just basically saying that the statue head can tumble any day and a lot of people can get hurt. A lot of people and, and, and kids can get hurt. There you go, more explosive rounds. We like that. It's all clear. Oh, I didn't pick up something in the street, but oh well. Oof. He's still on fire. I got a rocket launcher now. Oh. oh my god, why are you behind me, bruh? The dodge button just come into his own, really. They got a rocket launcher. Now that's more faithful to the um, Resident Evil 3 classic, where Nemesis used the grenade on, uh, rocket launcher. Well, obviously I haven't. Ooh. A rocket launcher this close and Jill is just... She hasn't turned into a crypt yet. She is really is a super soldier. Come on, Jill, we can do this. Supercarp. Hey, thank you. Oh, no. No. Right, okay. I do have a lot of health in the box. I'm not caution, so. I think I need a little bit more gunpowder than I need uh, full health because. I do have like three other full health in the box and I've got two carrying right now. So I don't necessarily need more. Chill. You there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. 
and lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Okay, yeah, we just met like probably 30 minutes ago, and uh, yeah, I'll trust you. Why not? Seems trustworthy. Former brother. Meow. <laughs> Bow. Yes, Jill, it is insane. Oh my god. Hello, Charlie. How you doing? Whoa. Alright, don't aim at me. Oh my god, that was that one was actually was a close one. Haha, uh -huh. you need to open the doors. Oh. Ooh. I don't know how the claymore didn't, didn't set off for Jill. It's a smart claymore. Nice, Good nice idea. work, Carlos. Badass. Go on, I'm behind you. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. You'll be safe. Okay, yeah, back to this place for the third time, I guess. Third, fourth time. The sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Okay, that facial expression there looks a bit weird. I feel like that the mouth doesn't really sink into uh, what he was saying. Alright, so let's hop on the train and get out of Raccoon City. What can go bad? Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and Tyrell. find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's alright, you're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters. <laughs> that face is just a meme. Just like, shut the fuck Let's up. Let's go! Don't like you. Look at how battered Jill is. All the cuts and bruises and dirt. So September 29th, 2 11 a.m. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I haven't done good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Locked. Don't you think? <laughs> he does have an evil face. What was that? How is this fucker not dead yet? Just know they're gone. Come, this way. There's evil there. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! There you are. Nikolai is now evil. Get off my train. Shit, Varda! Hello. 
lasting moment of Mikhail. It's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool indeed. Right, so I'm going to call it an episode here. You know, it's an explosive ending to the episode. So in the next episode, as you see in the background, we'll be controlling Kalos, Olivia, for the first time ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really, really, really hope that my recording is doing okay, and everything is working fine, and I'm sounding okay, so I can push this episode to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button and put a smile on my face, subscribe to the channel for more things Resident Evil 3, and my continuation to the path to Resident Evil 8 Village. Stay safe out there, keep calm, and video game. Peace! It was sloppy. Shit, it's locked. You see how they how they move so erratically, so unpredictable. How quick they are, they can be. Try not to waste too much ammo on me. Trying to get a head pop as well. Oh! I was, I was looking for that head pop, man. You might want to close the door, Carlos. Um, there is a liquor outside. He's burning bad. Bitch can't even swim. Interesting. You've done me a big favor, Miss. The chill doesn't look good, does she? That Whoa! Where the hell you come from?